Hey guys, it's Paul. It's been a little while, so let's get caught up and do kind of a little vlog update and let you know what's going on. Are you ready? Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to where Nerdy is Cool. This is my channel on YouTube where we cover all things I find nerdy and cool. My BB-8 build, my R2-D2, my 3D printing, the bat suit, stormtroopers, and there's all kinds of other stuff in the queue that I want to work on. So with that said, hello, <laughs> welcome. If this is your first time catching me, welcome. I hope you decide to become a subscriber. Uh, make sure you hit in the corner there to subscribe. There's also a bell there. If you click on that, you'll be notified via email anytime I post a new video. So be sure to do that. If you are already a subscriber and you're already following me, thank you. Welcome back. Um, so I haven't posted a whole lot of stuff recently because I have been super, super busy. It's summer in Maine. You got to keep busy. You got to take advantage of the good days while we have them because in no time I'll be up to my in here in snow. A uh, couple of things I wanted to cover with you guys and just kind of let you know what's going on. Um, first of all, we reached the 1,000 subscriber mark, which is a really big deal. If you're a YouTube creator, you need to get past 4,000 hours and uh, 1,000 subscribers to be considered for their uh, for the Google AdSense. Uh, so at, at some point here, you might see ads popping up because uh, we definitely uh, <laughs> uh, passed that limit and then some. Uh, as of right now, we have uh, 1,182 subscribers, so that's awesome. I, I, I'm thrilled that we have that many people on board that are checking out my videos and my content, getting a lot of good feedback from people as well. Uh, as far as the uh, the hour count uh, go, you know, with that 4,000 hours I mentioned, we, we killed that. We're at like 5,600 hours. Uh, so we've definitely got a lot of people watching the videos and uh, uh, interacting and providing some uh, good feedback for me as well and some ideas for other things. And how do you like this awesome t-shirt? I mean, come on, you can't go wrong with cats and rockets, right? So that said, another thing that's been going on is I used to like to try to get a video or two done every week, but right now, a couple things. It's kind of warm in the basement in the summer to be doing a lot of 3D printing. The other thing is back in March, uh, I started a keto diet. And you've probably heard about keto diets. You've heard all the fads, it's very low carbs and things like that. And I, at five foot nine, uh, I weighed in at 216 pounds. Uh, I went to a formal uh, event with my girlfriend and uh, I could not get the shirt to button on the top. And uh, my pants, uh, it just, it was, it was a red hot mess. I just, I, I was pretty depressed about it. And I'm just like, how, how did I get here? I go to the gym all the time, I eat healthy, or I thought I ate healthy. But I started researching the keto diet. I downloaded an app called Carb Manager, and, uh, you know, and I don't want to turn this into a weight loss channel. <laughs> I, I promise I won't. But uh, I started doing some research on what I was eating and what I, how many carbs I was consuming, and I was consuming quite a bit. So anyway, back in March, I weighed 216 pounds, and now I'll kind of stand up here. There's a there's a bit less of me here. Uh, I currently weigh 181.5 pounds. Uh, I'm at the gym every day. I do an hour of cardio and I do an hour of weights. I kind of mix it up with different groups. And uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I guess my, my goal here is I would love to be under 180 pounds and I enjoy the fitness. I'm having fun with it. Um, I like the results I'm getting and uh, I'm pretty sure that bat suit is going to fit a whole lot better now that I'm, you know, <laughs> almost 35 pounds lighter. So uh, that's one of the things that's been keeping me very busy right now is all the fitness. Um, some other stuff I wanted to go over with you, as I mentioned, we've gone past 1,000 subscribers and we have the watch time and stuff. The other thing I wanted to go over was our stats because some of the stats that uh, I was able to pull up, I was kind of fascinated by. Uh, a couple that really kind of grabbed my attention was that 93.5% of my viewers are not subscribers. Come on, you're killing me. Subscribe. You don't want to miss my stuff. Um, and some of the other stats that I saw <laughs> that I, I found baffling was that um, the, uh, the gender of my viewers are 100% male. I, the girls just have no interest. And if they're watching, well, YouTube's not picking up on it. Um, the demographic wise, I mean, we're in a great spot. Uh, the 25 to 34, it makes up a huge chunk of our viewers, uh, as well as the 35 to 44. So uh, advertisers like that. So 
yay. Um, the other little tidbit that I wanted to share with you guys that was kind of neat was that um, only 45% of my viewers are in the United States. So what's really cool is a lot of you guys are all over the world. And I do hear from people that are in the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, Germany. I'm just kind of looking through the list here. Um, quite a bit in the uh, in the Far East as well. So I just, you know, I I, I follow the numbers. I follow the, uh, the the stats that I see on the YouTube, uh, you know, analytic page. And uh, it just, quite frankly, it just kind of blows me away. I mean, it's really cool to have that kind of reach for just a little, little channel here that only has, you know, just under 1,200, uh, you know, uh, subscribers. But let's work on that number. Let's get let's get more. So uh, I'm I'm pleased you guys are enjoying the videos. I try to make videos that are a little bit different than all the other videos you see online. Uh, I enjoy the tutorials and showing you how to do things because I'm a very visual learner myself. So those are the kind of videos I search for on YouTube. Um, and the other things I wanted to cover is I know you guys are watching this going okay. Let's get back into 3D printing, Paul. What are you working on? So yes. I do have a pile of stuff I need to work on. <clears throat> the Tivor Tornado has been on the desk for many months and I have a couple of things I want to do to that. I have a 24 volt uh, E3D uh, nozzle and I also have uh, a couple other parts and pieces that I like to upgrade this thing with. Uh, I do have a newer motherboard, I need to get separate drivers for it. So the TiVo is a project in itself. Uh, I have an original CR10 that I got a year ago and I have purchased the electronics to upgrade it to a CR10S. I also have the additional Z screw, so I can also make it dual Z screws on uh, on that printer. And again, that's in a box waiting for me to get to it. Uh, speaking of things in a box, I also have another E3D uh, hot end ready to go for the CR10S that I have. And that printer has been fantastic. I, the, the CR10S, uh, I, I gotta tell you, that's been one of my favorite printers. I have parts available for the FT5. I need to get into that as well. And the Ultimaker is down right now because the coupler, the TFT coupler, has hundreds of hours of print time on it and that thing is causing back pressure which is causing filament to be ground up uh, inside the feeder. So that's not a whole lot of fun. So it seems like all of my printers are waiting for me to devote a little TLC into them and I need to get these things calibrated because I really need to get back on track and cranking out some of these large BB-8 pieces. And now that I have multiple printers, that should certainly reduce some of the print time or the, you know, uh, how much, how long it's gonna take to create those pieces. So I need to get on the ball, <laughs> that's the point. And speaking of other things in boxes, I also have the Fogletech i3 Mega. Uh, I had did a video recently and I showed you guys what's on inside the box and all the parts and pieces. And I just need to break down, make some room on the desk, get the TiVo moved elsewhere and go ahead and start putting that together. And I was thinking about doing that both as a live stream and as, you know, I also wanna do it as something that would be useful to other people that if they purchase this printer, this might be a step-by-step -step guide of how to do that. So that's, that's my thinking. So a lot of stuff coming down the pike. I just need to buckle down and do it. And I think you guys will be interested in that stuff. So, so that's my plan. That said, I am very happy to announce that I have two Patreons. So if you like the channel, if you like me, and if you like what you're seeing, and if you want to help me out, Patreon is the place to go. And of course, the website is patreon.com forward slash where nerdy is cool. And I get the whole thing on the screen here for you so you can see it. Um, the video capture you're seeing is a little bit dated. Um, it doesn't show that I have any subscribers, but I do. Uh, I would really, again, I know there's a lot of people that ask for money on YouTube saying, hey, help me out, help me out. But again, I had a lot of good feedback from you guys. Some of you guys have said, hey, you know, I'm surprised you don't have more subscribers. Well, <laughs> let's let's work on that too. Uh, I enjoy doing this. And of course, you know, if the if people can jump on Patreon and, you know, help me out as well, uh, that would be awesome too. So um, that said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, as you know, you can find me on Facebook where nerdy is cool. You can find me on Instagram. And of course, my webpage is where nerdy is cool.com. And I thank you guys for watching. I look forward to your comments in the comment section below. I try to respond to everybody. And I thank you guys for watching. And until the next one, remember, this is where nerdy is cool.